that time is your time to develop a soothing sleep routine where you may enjoy the healing powers of your imagination. You are listening to Treehouse in the Woodlands. In this sleep story and guided meditation to induce sleep, you land in a misty forest at night with a dear companion of your choice. With the wonder of a child, you explore the enchanted woods and come to a dreamy, elaborate treehouse where you camp out beneath the stars. Anything is possible in the woodlands on tonight's journey. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you are listening, you may think of my voice as that of your dear friend and trusted guide. Let me help you come down from the stresses of the day. May the words of the story cloak you in soothing sensations of coziness and peace. You have earned the special time to relax and unleash the powers of your imagination. The tailwinds of your creativity may lead you wherever you desire to go. And you may customize this experience however you see fit. Letting go of my voice before the story ends if sleep beckons to you. You are free of judgment and all the noise of the outside world in the sanctuary of your mind and of your room. Have you considered all the miraculous things going on right now in the present moment? Your body is doing the most incredible things even when you do not pay attention. You are life. You are part of centuries of evolution and inventions that bring you to this comfortable place to sleep, sheltered and secure. Nestle into your bed and feel your body become heavy and relaxed. Feel the gratitude for all that is right now. As you sink deeper and deeper down, you take in a breath that fills your lungs to their utmost capacity. You let your breath become a big yawn. You have earned this yawn and many more. Sigh out your breath audibly if you like. Your eyes are closed and your eyelids feel heavy. Continue to breathe in and out, feeling your belly rise and fall. And as you take in a deep breath, you notice the air has changed. It is suddenly cooler and damp, and you feel a mist land on your relaxed lips. The silvery mist forms a cloud around your bed and is a gateway to another world. You feel as if you are floating through time and space. You wear cotton fabric that billows around you and floats on the breeze like a parachute. Your bare feet land on a thick blanket of dewy green moss in a forest comes as no surprise that you would find yourself in this natural landscape, so very far away from the noise and concerns of the world. You have craved quietude and nature, ready to embark on a night of forest bathing and connecting with mother nature, free of gadgets and modern contraptions 
free of the hums of electronics and modern devices. Within your heart you feel a welcome flutter. It is a sensation that enlivens your curiosity. This intrigue is allowed to grow when worrisome thoughts are cast away and you can truly tap into feeling alive. A soft breeze blows through the cool forest and covers your body with goosebumps. This tingly sensation is amplified by the excitement you feel on this journey. You hear a sound from above like a flapping bird. There's a soft thud on the forest floor and you turn to see a dear loved one has arrived to join you. This may be someone you were close to long ago or someone you have not seen in some time. This person brings you so much joy that your face explodes in a smile as you embrace. The starry night sky casts the woodlands in a marine blue hue. You are led by the shimmering silver light of the buck moon. The air is fragrant with the smell of cedar trees and wet soil. A stream flows in the near distance and the babbling and soft gurgles play out along with the orchestra of chirping crickets and croaking frogs. The air is cool and offers a reprieve from the warm days of summer. You and your companion are overcome by the mystery of landing in the woodlands, eager to explore and yet uncertain what the night holds for you. The green moss below your feet is velvety and lush with perfect droplets of dew that are like tiny crystal balls. You bend down and balance one of the dewy drops on your index finger. It rolls towards your fingertip. Your companion does the same. Illuminated by opal moonbeams, a scene comes to life within the droplet and you see yourself as a child playing in the woods and exploring nature. Early memories of raindrops and rainbows, of butterflies and wonders in nature play out before you. A similar scene plays out within the shiny droplet on your friend's finger. You show one another the memory droplets and your index fingers come together. Like a magnet to metal, the watery beads join one another. They enlarge and float like a soap bubble. And inside this pearly bubble, there is a vision for the future. Within the floating sphere, you see the two of you following a winding mulch path through white birch trees and evergreens until you find a stream that leads you to an elaborate tree house. The orb floats towards the starry sky through the canopy of evergreen trees above. You look into your companion's eyes, which twinkle with the same magical aliveness that illuminates your eyes. Eleanor Roosevelt expressed, the purpose of life is to live it, to taste it, to experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. In this journey through the forest, you immerse yourself fully and become in tune with all that happens around you. 
you rely on all five senses and even engage your sixth sense of intuition. Fireflies hover above the metallic mist, pulsing in shades of chartreuse. The forest is a safe haven and you feel grounded with every bare step on the damp, plush moss. You step over the roots of trees that curve beneath your feet perfectly and release tension from your arches. The soft mist is silky against your exposed shins and soothes them. There are homes all around you, special habitats that bring peace and refuge to all the wild beings of the forest. The woods are full of secret dwellings. You see the coal eyes of baby raccoons peering out from the hollow of a tree. They softly trill with a sound as comforting as that of a purring cat. Along the forest floor and ruddy brown tree trunks Orange-red mushrooms grow like cottages, forming villages. And owl hoots from the tops of a tree, awakening to the call of the night. You discover the soft mulch path that weaves between the evergreen trees, matching the premonition in the bubble. It's easy to trust your sixth sense in the heart of the forest. As you are surrounded by beings that thrive by listening to their inner wild, you connect with the wildness within you. Your companion picks up the perfect pine cone and tosses it to you. Your reflexes are sharp and you feel it softly land in the palm of your hand. You run your fingers over the ridges as if playing a piano. They are iced with pine pitch that resembles mint frosting on a cupcake. You bring the pine cone to your nose and take in a deep breath. With this awakened curiosity, you feel the desire to touch and smell and experience everything about the woodlands with full awareness. The dark path leads to a bright spot in the forest where white birch trees grow in abundance. They are pearly white in the light of moonbeams and small rainbows form when moonlight lands on the mist that hovers over their trunks. The papery snow white bark is pure and fragile. You cannot resist running your fingers over one of the white birch trees. Loose flaps of the bark feel feathery in your palms. And in the mystic haze, you are quite convinced you see a unicorn in the center of the white birch forest. Your companion notices as well, and you look to one another perplexed and curious. You walk slowly towards the mythical being and get close enough to peer into her sparkling eyes that look like aquamarine gemstones. Before you can get closer, she vanishes into the mist, as if she was never really there at all. You return to the path and it leads you to an iridescent stream that looks like a river of hematite in the moonlight. When you reach the stream, you and your friend dip your fingers into the water and turquoise sparkles illuminate the ripples. The stream is known by the animals of the forest for being a source of healing. You place your hands deep into the water and rest them on the smooth glistening stones 
the bottom of the stream bed. A wave of glittering, soft blue light travels up your arms and cascades over your body like a waterfall. You feel the deep healing it brings as a cool and soothing tingling sensation travels throughout your muscles and joints. You take in a deep breath and savor the metallic smell of the fresh water and the piney aroma of the forest. The fragrance purifies you within. You look at your friend and they are glowing beneath this magical light as well. Every part of your body is relaxed and feels the tiredness that sets in after a day of contentment and adventures. You splash the water on your face and feel it trickle down your cheeks, renewing you. You look downstream and see the faint twinkling lights of the treehouse. Your companion notices as well. Your eyes meet and you both begin to laugh. There's no real reason for this laugh. It's simply the wave of joy that comes with great fortune. And this night is alive with good fortune. You follow the stream, walking on the cool and smooth stones of the bank. Like the exposed roots of the trees, they massage your feet with each step. Fireflies dance over the stream and throughout the dark forest. The lights of the treehouse become brighter as you approach. The tiny fairy lights are strung from wires as wispy as angel's hair. A swinging bridge leads to the treehouse and it sways in the summer breeze. It hangs overhead your companion is the first to notice the steps that circle around an oak tree like a spiral staircase and lead to the bridge. Led by the light of the moon, you begin to ascend. You count each step as you go. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Each step brings you closer to the starry sky that shines so brightly it feels within reach. The full moon shines in the center of the sky. It was named the Buck Moon because the antlers of male deer are known to meet their full growth this time of year. You continue to ascend and duck and contort your body with ease and flexibility as you make your way around the lush branches. It gives further credence to the healing powers of the stream that you are able to be so agile. The spiraling steps lead you to the suspended bridge that hangs from old yet sturdy ropes. You feel brave. Your body feels strong and capable of any feat. You lead your companion on the journey across the bridge that spans the length of ten trees. The bridge rocks back and forth and creaks ever so slightly. You watch a chipmunk playfully dash across the rails. You feel inspired to be as carefree, safe in the forest, and exactly where you are meant to be. Your bare feet balance on the weathered planks you slowly walk to the center of the footbridge. You take in a deep breath 
and sigh from this perfect vantage point to take in the buck moon and sparkling stream below. And suddenly a buck appears, lapping from the stream. He raises his head to meet your eyes. Purple gray clouds with soft white underbellies waft across the starry indigo sky. And you continue to journey onward. After a few more steps, you look behind and see your companion is smiling and taking in this precious moment as well. You can now see the magnificent tree house that is built throughout four different trees and connected by bridges and decks. You climb up the footbridge to the main part of the tree house. The entryway glows by the light of rainbow Christmas lights that are strung over the entrance. Within there are soft faux fur floor pillows that are scattered on the wooden planks. Moroccan lanterns warmly cast the room in jewel tones of orange, purple, red, emerald, and sapphire. Glass hummingbirds dangle from the thatched roof of the ceiling. Inside you smell the sweet fragrance of wooden boards and old books that rest on bookshelves made of knotted and gnarly wood pieces. Two hammock swings hang over the half walls that surround the living area. Your friend goes to sit in one of them and you sit in the other. Your feet dangle high above the forest floor as you are nestled safely within the silky braided rope of the swing like a baby robin in a nest. You surrender to the gentle motions back and forth and can see over the treetops of smaller trees. You feel as if you could fly. You feel safe. To tie above the ground in this secluded respite. You feel a bit hungry and so does your friend. You step out of the swing ready to explore the treehouse further. Together you walk across a deck that leads to a kitchenette. Little nooks in the branches form cupboards and storage spaces where teacups hang. The handmade countertop is comprised of dozens of blue agate stones that form hypnotic circles in every shade of blue and blue-green that you could imagine. Baskets are placed on top and overflow with summer berries and vegetables foraged from the forest. The keepers of the treehouse have left a small crate of baked goods and ingredients for s'mores. These sage woodland inhabitants could foresee your visit long before even you imagined a stay. The kitchen opens out into another deck where an informal dining area is set up. There is a fire pit in the center of the nook surrounded by cozy cushioned seats. You look out with a new vantage point to see the rolling purple hills in the distance beyond the treetops. Your companion grabs a long match from a mason jar on the agate countertop. You grab some snacks and s'mores ingredients and follow them to the fire pit. 
they strike the match against the side of the metal frame and ignite the small twigs and branches within the pit. You remove a log from a tall stack of wood that lines the half wall and carry it to your companion. A night breeze rustles the leaves and carries the heat of the small marmalade flames in your direction. It's a memorable feeling, this contrast of the cool night air with the heat of the fire. You open the marshmallows and grab a twig from the crate. You pass it to your companion and then prepare your own and place it in the growing flames. You roast the sweet confection to your preferences and look to your companion as they concentrate on roasting their own. Time seems non-existent as your memories of past moments like this waft over you in a quick sequence. These snippets of the amazing times you have shared evoke feelings of warmth and love and gratitude. You look to the starry sky thinking of the expansiveness of the universe and feel reverent. You whisper, thank you. You bring the marshmallow to your lips and blow out the flame. You inhale the fragrant caramelized sugar and wood smoke. The sugary treat melts on your tongue like a big feathery snowflake. Tiny orange sparks fly through the clearing overhead and join the neon yellow pops of fireflies and the silver glittery stars creating a dark sea of glittering confetti. Time passes, stories are shared, and the snacks slowly are depleted until you feel satiated and the muscles in your cheeks softly burn from the constant smiles and laughter. The fire dies down into white hot magenta embers. Your companion goes to the kitchenette to fill a mason jar with collected rainwater that supplies the treehouse. They pour the water on the fire and a smoke trail slithers towards the moon like a charcoal gray signal to the forest that you are ready to surrender to the night. You and your friend rise, leaving a coin toss to decide which room will be yours for the night. You embrace one another before saying goodnight and heading towards your treehouse bunker. You walk across a short footbridge that leads into a master suite. A thatched roof covers the open air room. There is a metal bathtub on the outer deck that is heated by flames that lick the bottom of the tub. You remove your clothes and wrap yourself in a plush towel that is neatly folded at the end of a canopy bed. You walk towards the secluded deck where the bathtub waits. You hear the soft hush of a small waterfall that cascades into the stream below like glittering lace curtains illuminated by the buck moon. You slowly step into the lukewarm bath and your body melts. There is a bar of dark green soap that smells of pine and sage. You rub the bar over your tired muscles 
and it creates a lush, thick lather. Suds float atop the clean bath water, and you dip your head under. You look to the stars and moon as the water muffles the sounds of the forest. You take in a deep breath, and your body floats to the surface of the water. The night air causes goosebumps to form over your wet, exposed skin. You sigh, and then sink deep into the tub. Your skin becomes warm and the goosebumps disappear. You have made it to paradise. The world has many more paradises for you to someday explore. This idea fills you with hope and with longing and with the appreciation that there is so much more to look forward to. Your eyes close and you continue to float in the silky water that smells of the forest. You feel yourself drifting towards sleep and ready for a night of rest. You rise out of the water and wrap yourself in the warm, plush towel. You step out onto the cool planks of the deck walk towards the bed. You change into cotton bed clothes that are folded at the end of the bed. They are cool against your skin and embroidered with this message. Going to the woods is going home. John Muir. You feel at home tree house within the tree within the forest is like a home within a home within a home. You hoist yourself onto the bed and pull a mosquito net around you. You feel so safe within this gauzy pod. You tuck yourself beneath the cool cotton sheets and a heavy handmade quilt. beauty of this tree house and this experience is that it brings a harmonious union of mother nature and the artistic abilities of creative people in the woodlands. This night has given you an example of the synergy and peace again and again. Your head sinks deeply into the pillow that has been filled with cotton and cedar shavings. It forms around the contour of your head and neck with a sleep-inducing woodsy aroma. You take in a deep breath and sigh, full of gratitude, peace and the warm, tingling feeling of being deeply inspired. You close your eyes and once again this whisper spills out of your lips as you mutter the words, Thank you. Going down, down, down. Drifting towards sleep and magical dreams. And I am going to count you down to a night of deep healing sleep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Finding peace, finding respite, finding sleep.
It's time to dream away. Good night.